My name is Joe Decree. I'm the lead adolescent mental health specialist here at Logan Health Behavioral Health. Uh, prior to that, um, I was in the United States Army from 1985 to about 2006. Uh, I retired as a major. I was uh, a Green Beret. I was in Special Forces um, and did a few other things. I have three combat tours. In a nutshell, PTSD is the inability to switch off the survival mechanisms. Uh, it is, it, 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 it's got a variety of causes and, and manifestations, but principally it is an inability to turn off survival. You are always in survival mode. It is, it is listed in a DSM-5 as a trauma reaction, so it, it's, there's kind of two ways to go about this. One is an event that is so traumatic you, you can't move past it. Another is a series of unfortunate events, as it were, that you know just kind of they kind of catch up on you. And I think in my case, that's probably what happened. You know, I can do a timeline and identify a period between like 2004 and about 2006 where uh, stuff just went sideways. And yeah, the trauma can be. We also have vicarious trauma, so counselors get that, uh, EMTs and cops sometimes. Um, just witnessing a lot of trauma over time uh, can have a cumulative effect on people. The classic ones are drug and alcohol. Uh, we tend to avoid the th anything that we think might remind us of the, the event or events. Uh, and if it's a series of events, that gets really squirrely because you know, who knows, it could be just about anything. Uh, for a lot of veterans like myself, um, there were many, many years where I absolutely could not watch military movies. Uh, I, you know, could not sit still in traffic, uh, you know, those kinds of things. Just being with people and knowing you're not alone because all that stuff tends to cause you, the, the PTSD survivor, to, to kind of isolate. Uh, and you know, isolation kills. I tell the kids all the time, isolation kills. Don't isolate. Uh, but we do that. So being with people, being with people we think understand, being with people at least we think are trying to get it, um, talking about it, I think is probably the best thing. And then, you know, there's other kinds of therapy. There's desensitization where you try to re, you know, go through some of these things that you're trying to avoid, you know, by, by incremental degrees to, to get to a point where you can just kind of do stuff. I think you show people, look, man, you're angry, you're anxious, you're, you're not yourself. You know, it's clear there's something wrong. You know, what, what can I do? And you're going to get some anger reaction and some pushback and some denial, but okay, you know, it, it, people who are going through it know that this isn't good, right, or normal. 